Good morning from Monaco. It is finally race day and I've got some awesome exclusive passes from Panasonic Jaguar Racing to immerse your eyeballs in what goes on in the uncharted territories of Formula E. So without further ado, let's head down to the grid and see what's what. We have arrived trackside. We're going to the uh, Emotion Formula E Club. How cool is this? I just, <laughs> it's still weird looking at cars that resemble F1 cars and hearing no sound. Nevertheless, being in the environment, all the crowds are here now. It's fully buzzing. Hello. I wish way for Emotion Club, please. Perfect. Thank you. Look at this. What kind of access is this? We are right by the cars. Never in a million years would you be able to get that close to cars during F1. It's probably not a bad idea to blow your eardrums out, but yeah, one of the great things about Formula E is the sort of freedom you get. Like yesterday, people were coming in, able to have photos by cars and stuff, and that's really, really nice. I think F1 these days is getting too, a bit too serious. So that's cool. Anyway, let's go to Emotion Club see what this place is all about. lane for a grid walk so we can get up close and personal with these cars. Okay, so that is where we are currently watching from. That's where we went first thing this morning to give it a, a bit of context. We get all of this fantastic view here. I think they actually use this suite as well for uh, F1. So this is real prime time spot. And you got the view of the whole pit lane here, every single team all the way down. Here's our team, Panasonic Jaguar Racing. But what a day. It's amazing as well how much sunshine transforms your whole demeanor, how you feel about the day. Yesterday, when I was doing my uh, live uh, broadcast, it was pretty overcast and grim. Today, we're on. So Monte Carlo does a lot of things right, but the team that supports and creates these things, particularly the emergency services, have the coolest gear. Check out the helmet for the fire brigade. It is the most Star Wars getup you've ever seen. Look at this. <laughs> It's just the coolest helmet ever. These, the, literally, the fire brigade look more cool than the driver. So awesome. <laughs> E grid. 
started in Monaco just before the race. I've walked down through the whole pack. And this is what's fantastic, as I was saying earlier about Formula E, is particularly if you're working with a team, the access you get, like right now I am literally on the track. Here's a Panasonic Jaguar racing team just here. This is super privileged to be able to get access like this. Show you the cars before the race on the grid in Monte Carlo. Pretty quiet. Team's gearing up now. A minute ago it was completely hectic. This really is the calm before the storm. This is uh, Mitch Evans. Uh, he's a uh, driver for Panasonic Jaguar Racing. It's getting tense, man. All right, we're now in the Jaguar hospitality suite so we can watch what is going on live on this screen up here. One thing that's quite new and uh, niche to Formula E is that they don't have a warm-up lap in order to warm up their uh, uh, tires. They actually do a quick burnout from their grid position they start in. Pretty cool, it's short but sweet, fascinating stuff, you got driver and car change halfway through the race, some guys didn't finish because their batteries literally ran out, what's really interesting is there's no recharge, so there's no equivalent of a fuel stop, there's no tyre changes, uh, however, it does show you on uh, the live screen what percentage of battery each car is on and it's getting so gradual, gradual, gradual. If you're on the beginning of the last lap on 4%, you're not going to finish. The two front runners are on 3% 3, 3 halfway around the very last lap and they were on it 10 tenths just to cross the line in time. It's fascinating. The actual team management involved in this is, is fascinating. There's so many variables. Anyway, that's it. Race over. Let's uh, go and see what's what and then uh, explore the rest of the day.
slightly larger than ours. Check out this stealth weapon of a boat here. Look at that. That is quite the feat. Merci, thank you. That was great, thanks very much. You're welcome. <laughs> what a gorgeous craft. Yeah. Good to drive. Let me just give you a, a perspective of how good looking this boat is. Look at that. It's almost more enjoyable looking at it. It's so beautiful. Actually, who am I kidding? That was absolutely fantastic experience. Wow, it's great. Normally, as you know, I come from a car background, so uh, any opportunity to drive a supercar around town, I would jump at. But that was truly unique. It was absolutely stunning. Check it out. The design of it, though, is really contemporary. I love it. Very, very cool. Anyway. Um, yeah, back to the hotel now. I'm going to edit for like the next four hours and then later on it's party time. Whether I take you along to that or not, I'm not sure. Depends on, well, quite frankly, how knackered I am <laughs> at the end of uh, this day. But uh, looks like I've also moored up next to an awards ceremony. So uh, yeah, head back to the hotel and I might see you back at the party. Fortunately, Twigger is uh, just underneath the uh, Fairmont, which is conveniently exactly where I'm staying. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, call it a day. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, Formula E experience. I look forward to uh, bringing you whatever ridiculous adventure is coming next time. Ciao!